go, it does go for the Magus. So two floating, two mountains untapped, and we know he's going to mountain in hand. So he's trying to bait permission here so he can sneak out a deus. Zhang could mana leak this. Oh, two floating. Right, so mana leak doesn't work. <laughs> he would have to mana leak tithe, oh. tithe. Yeah, but... <coughs> and makes this pretty bad news for Zhang, right? Yep. I mean, Although if he, he draws, can't if he draws so, sort of the meek, it doesn't really matter. True. He can't. Mana Leak Tithe Tithe does stop it. <laughs> so he goes for Mana Leak. It was interesting. I think Laner may get punished for not playing his land yet. Pay. Now, presumably, if that's your plan, you go Spike Spike and make Laner feel bad for not playing a land. Oh, Seething Song. So Never mind. You pay two mana in the mana pool and uh, yes. this, play this, right? <sighs> oh, so you get to spike, spike so this, no which stops now. everything? Yes. yes. Nice. Yeah, Seething Song costs three. So that was with the two floating and the one. Spike, spike is going to work here. Laner gets destroyed for... for he gets an extra card out of it. <laughs> I mean, Laner, Laner held back a land in order to uh, surprise him with a deus. And he's going to get punished. <laughs> Jang looks over pretty confidently. Pay, yeah. Oh. There's the other one. Slammed it in a hurry. Uh, sure. Unless you're worried about time. Wow. So he could have had this. If he doesn't, uh, this, if he has those three cards, it's the same. The same as he just basically threw away an extra saving song there. Yeah, that uh, Zhang, Zhang had the answers. Laner did, did, the turn did not work out the way Laner wanted it to. Could just pay for the mana leak. Gets tithed, tithed anyway. True. Now Laner may get to resolve a deus next turn because of it, though. I mean, he plowed through a lot of permission. Uh, I, guess, I don't think he was holding the ass. I must have that. Oh, did we miss? We missed saw the seeding song as a day. Yeah, I that's saw what a card on the corner. I couldn't quite make it out. Got it. Got it. Got it. That's, that makes a ton of sense. All right. In Legacy, first turn thought sees from uh, Austrian Benjamin Rossholm. Looks at a hand. Sees a daze. Sees a stifle. Sees a curse catcher. Two silver gill adepts. Uh, I have 18. Yeah, land, land, Lerner needed to play land there so that he could resolve, yep. so he could pay as much as possible. And I uh, could have resolved Magus if he had. Yeah, now he's, he's really in trouble. Going to town, he sacrificed an engineer explosives yeah. and a seat to make some tokens. Yeah, the aggression is up to four. Lerner's at eight. Zero. He's got basically two Zero. turns left. Zero. I'm not sure that Magus would have changed much, as it turns out. I mean, he'd have the same clock. He'd have the Magus in play, but he's still going to lose to the Flyers from the Thopter Foundry. I'm impressed by the way Xiang Zhang is playing, though. I guess he figured his mana tithes were going to be dead. <coughs> yeah. China looks poised to put a first match win on. Uh, Demigod came off the top. <coughs> Thoughts he took the curse catcher up in the legacy match, by the way.
was thinking about counter magic on. He just, I think he has to play the demigod and say go here, right? I don't know what else he's going to do. It's another curse catcher down for uh, Lebo. Yeah, here's tap out. Oh, play a mountain. This time he plays her on mana tithe. Plays the demigod with one left to pay. Three hands. Hmm? Three hands. It's like Jang is uh, talking with his teammates. It's hard to know which match he's talking about, right? Is he offering advice? Up in Legacy, Silvergill Adept has been added to the table, so the Merfolk beatdown is on, and the Curse Catcher is sort of poised. We also know there's a daze in hand. So the way the fish deck is drawn up. <coughs> Since as Divining Top comes down on turn two with a mana available left to pay because of that daze. They're still discussing the demigod, I think. I haven't seen Zhang's hand. What are his options? Did he have? Did he, he was, uh, is that just an elaborate, I have permission, I'm choosing not to use it bluff? I guess. They're uh, loading up on uh, Thopter tokens. Yeah. Makes sense. And he, he gets the Thopter down, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 21 to 8. That's a lot of flyers. Pretty happy to Smash. Get, get in for 5 4 over the next two turns. Block sure. Mantling Mage. <coughs> Zang going for the kill here. Sack to stop to Foundry. Thinks this is enough flyers. Meanwhile, over in Legacy, Wasteland has deprived Razalm of his Underground Sea, making the Curse Catcher in the Days that much more powerful. Razum's board is just an island and a divining top. He's getting attacked by a curse catcher and a an adept. Here comes an additional adept. Revealing was that Regery? Or revealing Wake Crasher. Wave Thresher, yeah. Alright, uses his top. So five power attacking for the fish player. Days and Curse Catcher available for disruption. Das Problem ist einfach, dass ich seit Anfang des Spiels keine Möglichkeit habe, zu gewinnen. Not looking good for Austria. We may see China claim the world team title. I'm, I'm actually speechless at the thought of that. I mean, it's, that's amazing. It really is. It's just not, you know, when people handicapped their, their top eights, even not, not even teams in the top four. Mm -hmm. I, I don't Nobody know that many people China. put China. I mean, they finished seventh and tenth the last couple of years, something like seven, ten, eleven in the last three years. Yep. I mean, they've been relevant, but they've never made a serious run at uh, advancing to the finals. And here they are. They look totally poised to win this. The legacy player's got five power worth of attacker plus the disruption. I mean, I don't know how ad nauseum stitches a win together through all of that. And here... We see Ziyang Zhang with his uh, with his extended Tesserator deck seems to have survived the explosive all in red deck. And, uh, six, you have two. Yeah, could mean the super experienced Ben Clauser in standard just doesn't matter. They may lose the other two matches before Ben even has time to potentially win in standard. All right, all in red attacks oh, unt untaps. He's facing a lethal sure attack. I mean, he has to draw a blocker, or he's just dead on board. Like if he didn't draw a relevant spell, then this this match is over. Legacy attacks. Mutavault has been powered up. 
Adept, Adept, Mutavault, and Curse Catcher. That is seven. <laughs> Stifles the Divining Top. <laughs> Funny. Not even going to let him look at more cards. Yeah. This is looking. Yeah, I think China's like got it. China's I really do. Be the world team, world champions. team champions from China. No Americans and no Japanese in this top eight, but we have Chinese world champions. Right of Flame. Right of Flame four. Okay, empty the Warrens. That helps, but those guys don't fly. Uh, Lotus Petal gets dazed in the Legacy match. He's, he's Another Lotus Petal maybe resolves. Maybe the Chinese player doesn't know that the Thopter tokens fly. <laughs> Well, Demigod flies, right? Yeah, but Bernard's at he takes, two. Oh, he's at two? I thought he yeah. was at... Oh, no, he took he took a bunch last turn. Oh, I thought he was at four. <coughs> Learner's at two. There's five, yeah. Four flying attackers should get the job done here. Have a look. Thoughtseize, what is it? Thoughtseize, oh, it's, it's a mountain. Attack! <laughs> China wins that match! Jiang Jang, 2-1 to one over Bernard Lehner. Get us to A, please. Rajan is trying to stitch things together. He got one Lotus Petal dazed. He was able to play a second Lotus Petal. He was able to play a Chrome Mox. Here is Dark Ritual. So that Lotus Petal is his insurance policy against the Curse Catcher. Yeah, Rozone is at seven. This is 1-1, one, one, so this is game three. And China's up a match, so if Lebo wins here, then China are your world team champions. Rozone at seven. There are seven power worth of attackers on the other side of the table. All right, he resolves Divining Top. If he can find Ad Nauseam and flip it, trying to stitch this together on the last possible turn. He's, got, he's battled through a daze. What's he looking at? There's the hand! There's the hand! Austria concedes, and China on the back of Lee Bo's undefeated run in Legacy. Six, six matches oh. of his lifetime. He's only six matches of Legacy he's ever played. He won all six of them, and China wins the World Team Championship. Tong Wu and Benedict Clauser will not finish their standard match because we're done. The world team title is over, and China will be hoisting the hardware in the award ceremony. Wow.